Welcome to Make It Happen with me, your host, Maggie. Happy New Year. Today is January 1st, and we are kicking off 2024 with a bang, starting a new year with the first Monday Huddle Q&A. This is a new monthly segment for me to answer all of your burning fitness and health questions. I picked just one question for today because I thought it was an important one to kick off the new year with. In future episodes of the Monday Huddle, I plan to answer multiple questions, but you will have to tune in and find out and keep the questions coming. Each month, I will put out a call for questions on my Instagram and select a few to answer. So make sure that you're following me there to get your questions answered. My handle is at Fitness Maggie. I will put the direct link in the show notes to make sure you find the right Fitness Maggie. Today's question is, what do I think of the concept of eat less and move more? I'm sure you've heard this phrase before. It is commonly suggested as being the simplest of solutions to achieve weight loss. Move more through exercise and daily activities while eating less. And voila, weight loss is the result. I love this question and I am excited to dive in with you. My answer just might surprise you. In theory, this totally makes sense. Because we've been trained to think this way and with our typical Western eating habits and state of health, we believe it. In the 1950s, approximately 10% of US adults were classified under the umbrella of obesity. Today, that number has jumped, no, skyrocketed to 40%. This news probably isn't news at all, but I'd venture to say it's an unhealthy problem and one that I am so desperately trying to do my part to help reverse. The reason I mention these stats is because considering the problem of obesity, the eat less, move more advice sounds pretty damn compelling and legit. 40% of the adults in this country didn't become obese eating perfect portions and exercising regularly. So if you find yourself under the obese umbrella, this advice to eat less and move more will probably work for you. Unless, of course, you have already cut your calories substantially and upped your exercise with attempts, possibly repeated attempts, to lose weight and slowed your metabolism to a screeching halt. This, my friends, is a huge problem. And if you are struggling with your weight, it might be something you really need to consider. And if this is you, don't worry. Not all is lost, and I'm going to talk you through how today. I always have your back, remember? Now, whether you're a healthy weight or you're overweight, obese, or severely obese, if you've dieted or exercised in the past, with the goal of weight loss, there is a pretty decent chance that your metabolism is suffering today. When we diet, we restrict calories, meaning we eat less. And when we exercise and increase our daily movement, the move more piece of this equation, we often see success with weight loss. It works. But maybe you've also experienced when it no longer works. You plateau. And in order to see weight loss continue, you have to eat even less to lose weight and are exercising more to burn more calories and send your body into a negative calorie balance. So my concern generally with eat less and move more is that while it certainly works and can be done well and effectively if you cycle it in a strategic way, it often hurts our efforts because it's not something that most of us know how to sustain. So if not eat less, move more, then what? Eat more, move more. That might surprise you, but let's get into it and start with movement. Movement is medicine. It is a powerful health booster, not just your workouts, but general movement throughout your day. Walking, taking the stairs, carrying your groceries, lifting your kids or pets, cleaning, fidgeting, stretching, even standing and maintaining proper posture. I am 100% on board with move more. And I know most of us are sitting most of the day, be it a desk job or similar. So please be sure to get up and move around for at least a couple minutes every hour. Stretch, fidget, pay attention to posture, maybe get a standing desk or a stability ball to sit on. And no matter what, prioritize your workouts. Boosting your movement not only increases your calorie burn and stimulates a healthy metabolism, but also your overall health including better blood sugar control and blood cholesterol. 
All right, so we can all agree with move more, but what about eat more? Isn't that what got us in this situation in the first place? Maybe it is, but I don't think it's the full accurate picture. I do think there's more to it than that, such as the impact of so many processed foods in our diet, the influx of additives and chemicals to the foods that we're consuming, and the constant eating all day long. But something I commonly come across as a professional is that people aren't eating enough. Women and men in my crew utilize a calorie calculator that I provide them. I will share the link in the show notes so that you can use it as well, and are more often than not shocked at how many calories the calorie calculator recommends that they consume each day to get to their goals. They think there is no way they could or should eat that much. What happens is that women and men in my crew incrementally increase their calories, focusing on things like lean protein, vegetables, fruits, healthy fat sources, and fiber-packed carbs, and the weight comes off. Or they feel more energized and strong and free. This is their body telling them, it's about freaking time you fed me. Let's shed some weight. In all actuality, the more you eat, the more calories you're going to burn. Just like when we eat at a deficit and our bodies naturally expend less energy to compensate, meaning we burn less calories. And if we eat more, our body responds by burning more. Now, clearly this isn't a free-for-all to eat everything that you want and expect to keep burning more calories and losing more weight. It doesn't quite work that way. Obviously, overeating above what your body needs is going to lead to weight gain. But in order to burn more calories, the answer isn't eating less. It's actually eating more. But there is a limit, and I'm not going to sit here and advise you to eat shit just to get more calories in. It doesn't work that way either. I'd much rather you reach for whole foods that supply good nutrients to your body. This is also how you make the most of this tactic. Sure, if you eat crap and stay within your calorie needs, you will maintain or even lose weight. But your insides won't benefit and you won't feel nearly as great as you could. Feed your body with good fuel and it will reward you by functioning better. And that includes more energy and a humming metabolism. How to fuel well is super personal, and I get that. But if you need a place to start, grab my free food list for a list of my favorite nutrient-dense foods across all macronutrient categories. I will leave the link in the show notes. If you are happy with your overall health, from weight to energy levels and everything in between, keep doing what you're doing. Remembering that there is always room for improvement. And if you have goals to achieve, make sure you set your sights big. The bigger, the better. Goals that make you excited are awesome and will propel you to act. And even if you come up short, it's likely that you accomplished more than if you set your goals small to begin with. One of my really big goals this year is to exponentially grow this podcast. I want to reach people far and wide and help not only pave a happier and feel good path to health, but do my best to simplify that path for everyone. Please make sure that you're subscribed so that you are the first to know when new episodes drop each week. And if you're not a quote, first to know type person, it's not important to you, then please subscribe so that you're reminded to listen when there is a new episode. And please share with any and everyone that you can. I appreciate it so much and promise to continue to put my best foot forward to bring you useful episodes that will make a difference in your life. Stay hungry, literally, and move more. Go make it happen. Mm -hmm.